Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. So let me, um, I want to make sure that I can hear your, see your comments. <clears throat> um, just let me know if you can hear me. And, um, um, okay. okay, all right. So, um, let me know if you can hear me. I wanted to shoot this video um, in the raw, and when I say in the raw, a lot of times as women, we you don't want to go on completely raw and because you know have to go to hair you have to make sure your hair is done your makeup is done but today i said you know the most raw as i can be is you know makeup um just wash my hair it's a lot of hair but i just wash my hair braided it up so yes this is pretty raw and you probably not catch me this way too often however i wanted to i wanted to shoot this video because some time ago, I, I did a video and um, it was from the perspective of being a caregiver. I'm a caregiver of an Asian parent and I became a caregiver last year. Um, so it's been a year now. And I didn't know what to expect. Um, it was one of those decisions that needed to be made and it was made. Um, we didn't think about the what ifs. I didn't think about how my business would suffer. I didn't think about losing clients. I didn't think about, do we have the space? Do we have the income? I didn't think about any of that. The only thing I thought about was there's a woman that needs help and we need to help her. That was the only thing I thought about. So shooting this video, um, before I got on right now, there was a lot that came up for me. The fact that I'm a woman in menopause, now I have this aging parent, um, just so many other things that go along with being, having an aging parent with you. It depends on what they have, what's going on with their life. So there's a lot that was going on. So I've been silent for a while because I couldn't get a grip on my emotions. And sometimes you know things are happening to your parent, you can step into it and you can deal with it head on but when your parent is um has dementia that is another story and that is something that's completely new for a lot of people and a lot of women like myself if you've never had family who has dementia you don't even know what it is you just think oh they're aging they're old you know, they're just forgetful, but it's deeper than that. It's, um, if you're the caregiver, it takes a lot out of you. Emotionally, physically, mentally, and, and even spiritually. Uh, it's a big, big, big step. So drop me a comment and let me know if you have ever been a caregiver to an aging parent. When you're in Gen, you're Gen X, you're a woman in menopause, and I'm speaking to women right now because that's who I can, of course, identify with and speak to. But when I got on the journey of being a caregiver to a an aging parent, um, especially when I discovered that she had dementia, I didn't know what it was. So the first thing I had to do was educate myself to see exactly what was it and what is it that they're going through because whatever you're feeling from it they're going through something they're going through um they're going through a lot themselves they're going through their own internal struggles maybe they're not accepting it maybe they are noticing something's wrong with them but you're suffering too. You're suffering from feeling lost like you 
can't find yourself, like you don't know what to do, like you can't move forward, like a part of you, a piece of you is missing, that everything that you had planned and goals you wanted to reach are now gone. So you're going to go, if, you, if this is your situation, you will go through a lot of things. And some of the things I, I probably won't even address in this video because it brings up a lot of emotions. But when someone is in dementia, it's almost like living with several different people, um, but one person. And um, but I feel better. I feel better. There is um, something that you go through when you are, when you have a family who's in dementia, you, you grieve. And I know this sounds really weird because it's like, really, I, you know, most people only grieve when they lost someone in death, but you grieve. You are grieving the loss of your freedom, the loss of your time, the loss of your privacy the loss of yourself, the loss of being able to do, to, to do things that you enjoy doing, the loss of um, self-care, the loss of taking care of yourself first, just the total loss of who you were, who you wanted to be, and who you envisioned yourself. So there's a lot that you lose, but in the end, you find peace. In the, in the end, just like you're going through different stages of grief, you will go through anger, you will go through resentment. But then finally in the end, just like with grief, all grief has a point where it just kind of, you know, it comes to this end stage and it's, you come into acceptance. I don't think that I'm fully 100% in acceptance just yet but I do feel that I'm getting there. And I wanted to share that with you today because maybe you're going through it too. Maybe you are feeling stressed because if you're a caregiver, you're taking care of an aging parent with a person with a personality. It's not like having a child. When you have a child, you are basically, they're always growing, they're always becoming, um, they're always going and getting into a different stage. But when you are a caregiver to an aging parent, what it is is what it is. There is no more growth than that. This is this is who you're dealing with. You're dealing with uh, an adult who already has their personality that was already set and that was already um, there when you knew them, all the years that you've known them. So because you're dealing with someone different, um, it's not going to be easy. And there are so many days, so many days. I can't even, I can't even begin to tell you how many times I just cried walking down the street in the grocery store, um, at home, on the phone, after leaving my place of worship. I just couldn't stop crying because I was, um, I didn't know what I was feeling. And sometimes you won't know what you're feeling. You won't know what emotions you're going through, especially if they're new emotions. And, and you're, you're this person who looks at the glass half full and still half empty. You're always positive. You're always a happy person. And you're always trying to make other people feel better. But then when your emotions come up and they're completely different than who you knew yourself to be, it does, it, it's, it throws you off your game. It just completely throws you off from being the person that you know that you are. And sometimes you don't like that person. There were moments when I seriously didn't like myself anymore. I didn't, I didn't like the person that I had become or the person that I had to become in order to step into being a caregiver for a parent with dementia. But I had to step into that role. I had to take on that um, persona in order to work with that person. So if, if you've been going through this, and maybe you have, um, 
I want to let you know that you're not alone. There's a lot of things that I did along the way to, to help myself to um, pull myself out of the, the hole that I felt I was in. And maybe you feel that way, that you're in some sort of a hole. A hole. Um, let me just see if I have any comments here. This is, um, I've never did a streaming live on here before. So if you are in with me, definitely make sure you let me know because um, this is new. This is new. But I wanted to come in live. I wanted to come in live to you and um, just let you know that if you are, um, caring for someone who, if you're a caregiver to an aging parent, you've been feeling lost, you've been feeling um, like you just can't breathe, you've been feeling overwhelmed, you've been feeling that your emotions are all over the place, you've been feeling that um, you can't get a grip on going back to the person that you were, you can't seem to make time for yourself. You don't even know what making time for yourself is anymore. If that's you, I would love to speak with you. I am right now opening my door to you, my beautiful friend, to let you in and um, be a part of something new that I'm doing. I want you to be a part of a new program that I have. And it's for um, the caregiver, the woman. You know what? Let me share. Um, let me share this with you, if I can. Um, it's really interesting. No, 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 no. That's not it. I want to share this. I want to sh let me share this. Let me share capture screen. Huh? I can't share it with you. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I can't share it with you, but um, send me a message. Let's get on a call and talk. I want to know what you're going through. If you are a caregiver, if you are caring for an age, aging parent, I want to talk to you. I want to know what's going on. I want to know how are you coping. I want to know um, how are you taking care of yourself, if you're taking care of yourself at all. I want to know. because. Not only are you dealing with that, but if you're a woman in menopause, you're also dealing with your own issues as well, your own emotions, your own mental state, your own you know, physical well-being. So I want to know if you are a woman in menopause who's a caregiver of an aging parent, I want to talk. And if you are a woman who's in a space where your aging parent has dementia, then definitely I want to talk to you. So drop me a line. Um, I put a link below this video and I want to hear from you. I want to talk to you. I want to know what's, what's going on. How are you coping? Um, because I want to support you. So I've had a lot of support along my journey in um, coming to, to terms and dealing, working through my stress, working through the grief process, working through the anger, working through everything. And it was a lot. There were a lot of emotions. I mean, some of my tears, you would have thought that I had lost someone in death because that's exactly how I felt. That was it. Once you are able to pinpoint your emotions, once you are able to pinpoint what you're going through, then you can move forward. Then the healing can start and the acceptance can start because you have to get to a point where you're back to accepting you. You have to get to a point where you let go of um, grieving. You, you, you let go of the anger. You let go of the resentment because the longer we live, <laughs> If you're Gen X, then you're going to, you will face this. Now, there's a lot of people, maybe their circumstances don't allow them to take in an aging parent to, to support them. But see, here's the thing. 
I had a, I've had a lot of comments from a lot of different people about what I should do. And a lot of the comments were, oh, why don't you put it in a nursing home? That's a personal decision. That's a personal decision. No one can tell you what to do when it comes to your parent. That's personal. Also, don't look at it as giving up anything because you'll gain a lot more from it. And also, in my case, my aging parent still dances. Actually, I posted a, um, a video yesterday. She still dances. She still has a social life. Um, she still um, can hold a conversation with you. So I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And of course, the bulk of the care does follow me because I'm a woman. And my husband works. He goes out to work. I happen to stay home and work. So some of my clients, I have had to step back from working with clients. Um, but it's okay. I got to a point I even accepted that. So if you've been going through that, if you're going through this right now, then I would love to talk to you. I would love to support you. So let me, let's talk soon. And I put my calendar below this video. I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait to hear from you and see what's going on with you in your life. And until our next time together, as always, darling, stay beautiful and healthy.